Grade Sevens, Helen here with your latest natural sciences lesson. And what is it we're looking at today? Well, we're going to be focusing on different examples of bases. So we've explored acids, we've looked at examples of acids, we've looked at properties of acids. Now it is the turn of the basic substances. So can you identify everyday items that you might come into contact with containing bases or that the liquid or substance making up the product is basic. So have a look. What about your favorite fizzy cold drink? Toothpaste, soap, shampoo, which kind of falls into the same category, washing powder, bleach, baking soda, all our cleaning products that we use to spray on glass to clean our windows or that we use to scrub our baths and our basins, clean our toilets, clean our drains. What about them? Vinegar and water. So which of those substances are bases or contain basic substances? Well, hopefully, from our previous lessons on acids, you should immediately be able to say fizzy cold drinks contain phosphoric acid, vinegar is acetic acid, and water is neutral. So all of these other substances contain bases or are made up of basic substances. So here are some examples that you might be more familiar with and that you might find around your home. Remember that when we talk about a base, we say that bases have high concentrations, I'm making a mistake here, have high concentrations of hydroxide ions. Now, hydroxide ions can also be present in a substance in smaller concentrations or larger concentrations. And the substances that have lower concentrations of hydroxide ions are what we call weak bases. But substances that have high concentration of hydroxide ions are called strong bases. And just as when we discussed acids in previous lessons, strong acids like sulfuric acid was very high in hydrogen ions and so that made them much more dangerous and stronger than acids that had a lower concentration of hydrogen ions in exactly the same way. A substance that has a lower concentration of hydroxide ions is going to be a weaker base. Therefore, it's safer to touch the base or to use it on our skins, but very strong bases can harm us as much as strong acids can. So we need to treat this section very carefully as well because although we think acids are dangerous, bases must be safe, certain bases can really harm us. Let's look at some of these examples. A common household product that you will find in your homes, particularly for cleaning, is something called hypochlorite. And hypochlorite is present in products such as bleachers and drain cleaners, toilet cleaners, and these are very strong bases. So these are bases that we should be very careful of. Just like acids corroded, so very strong bases can burn you and harm your skin and clothing. Sodium hydroxide is also a strong base, but when we combine it with water and other products, we get 
a slightly gentler base that is not quite as strong or as harmful to our hands. So for example, window cleaners and cleaners that you would use in your bathroom and your kitchen, usually they're a nice creamy substance and you wipe them on and you can wipe them off. And if they get them on your hands, they don't burn. But washing powders are also extremely basic. A little while ago, there was a very stupid craze going around of drinking a liquid washing detergent. Please never ever do that because that very strong base goes into your stomach and it can not only affect your stomach but if it gets absorbed into your bloodstream it can cause a complete acid base upset in your blood chemistry. So never ever drink or eat any cleaning products. You may have got soap or shampoo in your mouth on occasion and it doesn't taste very nice. It tastes very bitter, but it certainly isn't going to kill you like bleach or washing powder could. Toothpaste is a substance that we intentionally put in our mouths to clean our teeth and toothpaste is a basic substance, but it is a fairly weak base. Remember that the toothpaste has got a gritty nature which is going to scrape away plaque and bacteria but the basic nature of the toothpaste is also going to combat or neutralize acids in your mouth that have been formed maybe by eating acidic substances or drinking acid-based cold drinks and also from the bacteria in your mouth that digest all of that sugar as their form of food and make acids as their waste products. So we see that our toothpastes are intended to go in our mouth. So if you want to taste a base and feel a base, toothpaste, soap, shampoo are the ways to go. Sodium bicarbonate is present in a substance called baking soda, which you will use in your kitchens and in baking processes. It helps to make uh, cookies and cakes rise a little bit, but you know that you can also use baking soda, or as it's also called, sodium bicarbonate in your fridges. You put a little bit of the powder into your fridge in a little container and it absorbs odors and bad smells. Maybe you've been keeping some onions in the fridge and it doesn't smell too good. So you can use the bicarb to absorb those odors. But another product that is common also in a lot of cleaning substances is ammonia and ammonia is a strong base that usually you will see warnings on the labels of products containing ammonia that it is dangerous and it's not only if it comes into contact with your hands or your mouth but the fumes of ammonia may be present in uh, things like oven cleaners, they can burn the insides of your nose as well. So strong bases that are present, that have uh, ammonia present in them, dangerous substances. We even find some hair dye products that contain ammonia in them. And these are hair products that permanently change the nature, the chemical nature of our hair to maybe relax our hair. So ammonia is used in perm lotions and in hair dyes that are going to strip color out of our hair so that we can put a different color onto our hair. Those products contain ammonia and you will have noticed that when we use those products, you must use some gloves and you should not get them in your eyes or in your mouth because it's going to cause harm. Calcium carbonate is another chemical substance that is basic. And if you go to school and your teacher uses chalk 
on the board, that is calcium carbonate. And that would be a safe base for you to maybe touch to your tongue and see what does it taste like. But calcium carbonate, we're going to explore in a little more detail, also is a component of things like cement, which possibly been used in building your homes. So these are examples of bases that we come into contact with on a daily basis. But like I've been saying to you, some substances are not for touching or tasting and should always be handled with, with care. So the substances are usually cleaning products that you would come into contact with that have hypochlorite like bleach, ammonia like drain cleaners, sodium hydroxide, and of course, ammonia also in oven cleaners. Please be aware that if you're handling these substances, they can damage your clothing, they can damage surfaces that they fall on, and they are dangerous and should never ever be tasted whatsoever. There are plenty other bases out there that you can taste. Now, calcium carbonate is a very interesting basic substance that really we use a great deal in our everyday lives. Eggshells are made up of calcium carbonate. So there is a way, apart from licking your teacher's chalk, which is not very hygienic, that you could taste calcium carbonate when you next make your eggs crush a little bit of the eggshell and you can taste that and you can see what calcium carbonate tastes like. But it's not only birds' eggs and birds' egg shells that have calcium carbonate in them. Calcium carbonate also forms the shells and the skeletons of many sea organisms, such as this beautiful example of coral. And over time, when these corals and shells break down, they make something called a calcium carbonate slurry and more pressure and pressure on top of it forms something called limestone. And these cliffs, and they're on a beautiful island near Greece. These cliffs are made of limestone. So how do we use limestone? We use limestone in making cement and many other products. Let's have a look and see how much you have remembered from our lesson on bases today. True or false, eggshells are naturally basic. What do you think? Is it true or is it false? Yes, it is true because eggshells contain calcium carbonate, which is a base. Bases are not as dangerous as acids. What do you think? Is that true or is it false? I hope you said that is false. Remember that strong bases like hypochlorite, which is in bleach, can harm you and be as dangerous as strong acids. Washing powders contain bases. That is true. They contain possibly a little bit of hypochlorite in some washing powders, but otherwise sodium hydroxide in washing powders, and therefore they are basic. If you add lemon juice to washing powder, you get a neutral substance. Is that true or is it false? Now, from what you have learned over our last few lessons is that we have got acids in lemon juice, we have got bases in washing powders, and when we add them together, we get a neutral substance, so that is true. We have no bases in our bodies, that is false. We have lots of basic substances in our body. Remember last time I told you that in your stomach, you've got acidic 
hydrochloric acid. Well, when that food moves into your intestine, basic substances are added to neutralize those strong acids. More about bases next time. For today, goodbye. 